Recently, there has been a debate about whether or not baseball should have an automated strike zone. Um, and what that means is that basically people have argued that, you know, with a a, a strike zone, there's, you know, I, I think, people, the, I, sorry, let me, let me rephrase this. I think this entire debate started because a guy like Bryce Harper argued a strikeout call. And, and then, you know, people said, we need to reheat this debate. Should we have an automated strike zone? And the question is to me, should we get rid of umpires going, ball, strike? Do, do, we need, do we need a guy behind the batters calling balls and strikes or not? I think yes. I understand, you know, people think we need to replace them with computer technology to ensure accuracy. I get it. It makes sense. Um, but I would not get rid of umpires calling balls and strikes. I wouldn't. Uh, unless somehow it made games way faster and it would not make games faster because the reason why baseball games are slow is because you have 27 pitch at bats where guys can foul off balls forever and the at bat keeps going. Or you have pitchers who take, you know, like you need a shot clock for pitchers where you can't take two minutes tying your shoes and throwing to first base, throw the dang pitch, speed it up. Um, but umpires calling balls and strikes are, do not make the game slower or faster. It's like one second to go, that's a ball or Hey, strike. That, that's, that's not a long time. It's not a, it doesn't take a long, that's a terrible strike call, by the way. Don't ever play that ever again. Don't ever watch that. Don't ever listen to that. Um, but here's what I would do. There's this controversy. Should we have an automated strike zone or not? Should we get rid of umpires and make it all digital? I, I wouldn't make it digital. I think, I think it's actually really good for the sport to have that controversy and that argument where a guy strikes out and doesn't agree with the call and you go, they argue and yell at each other. That's a good thing for the sport of baseball. But here's what I would do. I would develop sensors and I would have a regulated system. And right now, so by the, you got to understand this. Currently, right now, in All Star games and in postseason baseball games, a baseball team has two manager challenges, which is where you think the call is wrong, and you can go to the video room to to like replay and make sure that the call was made right on the field. So I think that in regular season, you only get one manager challenge. I think what you got to do is give. Make balls and strikes something you can challenge. It's like an NFL you know, red flag challenge where you can say, I want that reviewed. I want to make sure they got it right. So make a sensor, make a regulated system where you know what a ball and a strike is. And that way, if you disagree with the call, you can throw a challenge flag and you can have it reviewed. But only give people two a game. So instead of having the postseason and also games have two, and regular season has one, every single baseball game needs to have two managerial challenges and make balls and strikes something you can review. Make balls and strikes something you can go, I disagree with that strikeout call. I, he was caught looking. I think it was a ball. Let's review it on tape and see what happened. And, oh, well, lo and behold, the pitch tracker says that ball is six inches outside. That is not a strike. It's a ball. Go to first base. You get the walk. Whatever, whatever it is. Maybe it's just the bat at bat continues if it's, you know, it's only the second ball. But I like that. I think that ensures that the end of games are more, you know, precise but I don't think you need to get rid of, you know, umpires in general. I like human interaction. I think it matters. I think it's good. I think controversy is good for the sport. Um, I think you can make balls and strikes something that you can challenge. And that way the end of games are as accurate as possible. But don't get rid of that whole thing in general. Um, you know, again, human interaction makes baseball more compelling and more interesting. Um, and I just think that when, you know, a ball is called, a ball outside is called a strike and somebody disagrees and an umpire and a player are yelling at each other and that's controversy. It's good for baseball. Um, and plus, again, you know, if it's a big deal, what you can do is say, oh, if you really disagree with the call or if it's, you know, the last, at, the last out of the ninth inning, oh, you can challenge it to make sure we got it right. But it doesn't need to all be automated. I don't think it would be really any faster to automate it. I just don't. Because uh, it's not like it takes a long time to go, yeah, that's a ball. It just, uh, that's not a long process. Um, so I would not get rid of umps. I would not automate it. I would just make sure that's something you have a, regulated system in place where you can challenge it if you need to. I just want to say thank you so very much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. My name is Zach Schaumler. This is my podcast, Strong Opinion Sports, and it is my favorite thing in the entire world. I love it. Uh, in fact, my dream is to someday do Strong Opinion Sports as my full-time job. If you believe in me, if you believe in that dream, please help me grow by telling your friends about the show. Share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter. Maybe you put a screenshot of you. Maybe you put it on Instagram. Uh, it does me a huge help if you can tell your friends about Strong Opinion Sports. Another way you can help me if you want, no pressure. I have a PayPal, paypal.me forward slash Zach Schaumler. I also have a Patreon account, patreon.com forward slash Zach Schaumler. It does me a huge help if you want to. 
Um, and uh, really, if you have no money to give, no problem, please. The, the number one thing, if you want to help Strong Opinion Sports, the number one thing you can do is help me grow by telling your friends about this podcast.